Hello everyone! In this video we're going to be building a small shack for a werewolf with a gym shed next to it. And the reason why I wanted to build this was that I got werewolves in the sale and something that never happens to me happened which is that I really wanted to play with a family and start a legacy. I almost never play with families and I definitely never do legacies because I don't like aging up my sims, I like creating them and having them stay that way. It makes me feel weird to think about my sims uh, growing older and dying, so what I do is just create some characters and I play with them for a while and then I just never play with them again or months later I come back to them. But I almost never have them have children and sometimes their children age up, but I like having them stay the way they are. But with Worlds I was really interested in starting a legacy for some reason and I had this whole idea of this werewolf getting married to Cassandra Goth and starting their little werewolf family here in the world of Moonwood Mill. So I, I looked at Cassandra's traits and I saw that she's creative and she likes to play music. So I wanted this werewolf to be compatible with her. So he is an artistic werewolf. I really wanted this sim to be a painter and that was mainly because I wanted this house to really look like it was decorated by that sim and then their children would have those cute decals that come with werewolves with the moss and the mountains and such and I really wanted to tell that story of their parents having painted those. So in this very rustic, very minimal starter home I made sure to include an easel and some other art stuff such as a mural. But yeah, the rest of it is really very rustic and really cheap. I think this bathroom is not such a nice room. I tried not to use a, an awful toilet but I did end up doing that. I think that's going to be one of the first things that I change as I play. And I also really enjoyed adding some water stains to the wall. I figured that since this was a wooden house it was realistic for the bathroom to have some humidity problems. I didn't use the cheapest stuff. For example, the fridge and the stove are pretty cheap, but they aren't the cheapest. I really wanted to make this look very finished and I managed to include almost everything that I wanted to have in this house, all the essentials. I only missed a bookshelf, but that's a very simple thing to add and the cheapest bookshelf is just a few books that you can put somewhere, for example, on top of that dresser from Werewolves that I really liked and that I left empty. So you could just eliminate a couple stuff or I actually made this be under 20,000 simoleons, but my household had a bit more than that because I made two dogs to go in here, and so I have 4,000 simoleons more than that, but I still wanted this to be a starter home for one sim. But if you didn't want to play with pets, you could just eliminate the footballs that I add later or, or the bathtub and add that bookshelf, which might be useful because in werewolves there's a lot of special werewolf books, so having a place to store them besides individual sims inventories might be a good idea. But anyway, here inside I wanted to decorate this with these murals and some stuff that looked more practical, like the mirror. And the rug is actually that dance floor, the really cheap one that looks like a bunch of cardboard boxes. And I thought that all of that really fit in this space. Those are from Get Together, but I do use mostly stuff from werewolves and some stuff from Eco Lifestyle. And I felt that those went together really well. There's also some stuff from Jungle Adventures such as the floorboards and the counters and also a few things from Laundry Day which is also kind of rustic. But I also want to add a guitar in here and that's mostly it for this cabin. I will come back to it later to add some finishing touches. But I have now added a woohoo bush that comes with werewolves and I also included a bonfire outside and the mailbox is next to these like beware signs and I included that trash can that looks like a barrel and also that grill that, that looks like it's just another of those barrels. I really wanted these to be very shed-like and cheap looking. It's not that hard to make starter homes that don't look cheap. It is possible but here I really wanted to lean into that little shack in the woods concept. And so that's why I decided to change the roof a bit so that it looked a bit more asymmetrical and shed-like. And by the way, if you would like to download this build, it is as usual on my gallery. It is under my ID, which is very new. And if you're enjoying this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel if you haven't. 
I post speed builds twice a week and I also take suggestions, so if there is something that you would like to see me build, feel free to leave it down in the comments. But since this was really small, it's it still has some tiles before it's no longer a tiny home. I wanted to create some outdoor seating using this log from Werewolves and also another seating area with the couch and the table from Eco Lifestyle and also some more chairs next to the bonfires which are from City Living and For Rent. Like some of those foldable metal chairs and the other one is just a plastic chair. I think it's really cool that we have that in the game now since I have seen that a lot more than the other foldable chairs, at least in like barrios and stuff. But anyway, now I have laid down some Durain paint and some stuff from Debug. I used mostly the one from Werewolves, Vampires and Cottage Living. Like some landscaping and also like that broken down car, some lights and really just like trash. But I still try to not make this look like overly trashed and just awful. I also wanted to include like an abandoned trailer next to this and that one does look a bit nasty but I really wanted to add something that would fill out this area of the lot and yeah, I just added all of the cobwebs and a bunch of overgrown foliage and stuff but I was thinking that eventually I would like my sims to tear this down and build another house in here and then with the foreign rental system, then I could have like the grandparents live in one of these houses and the children live in another. So yeah, I really wanted to be able to tell that story of this family starting out in this lot and then just making it look more of a small community. I was thinking maybe this is where the werewolf starts and he was going to be a teenager so he can get some of the werewolf abilities and start dating Cassandra and find a way to make some money so eventually they are going to move in together and they can build a larger house next to this one so that they can start a family and everything. Also maybe this house later becomes an art studio and a bit of a music space. So that's what I was thinking and that's why I made some of those choices. But meanwhile I am just adding more landscaping here, more grass and everything so that it doesn't look as flat because the ground in the Sims 4 looks super smooth and like there isn't much to break it up. So I also wanted to add a pond in here and to make the whole space around the trailer look just like hard to get to because of all the vegetation and everything. But yeah, I have now finished adding that one so that there can be some fishing and they can eat for free since werewolves can just eat um, raw fish. And I am just adding some more decorations to the house. I was thinking that I really wanted it to look like this werewolf really loves painting stuff everywhere, so I added some painted words to the walls. I also added those paint cans outside next to the mural. That mural is actually not functional the way I have it because it's raised up, but you could lower it and paint something on it and then raise it up again or maybe just extend the terrace space so that sims can actually get to it and I actually think I uploaded it to the gallery or at least I took the screenshots with some graffiti spray on it. I also thought about adding this debug cardboard box from City Living to the inside of the house but I didn't like the way it looked and that's also a good place to set some functional books down. But now I have just added some muddy footprints and I sized them up so that it looks like they are they were left by the werewolf. But I could have also added some small ones because I was thinking the dogs are actually wolves and they could also leave their paw prints. But anyway, now I just lowered the floor on the gym a little bit because I was a bit worried. Sometimes lights cause routing problems. But yeah, that's really it for this build. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.